Well, to you, uh, a couple months in, to your experience at another Big Ten university, what's this, what's this been like? How's it been different? Um, I would say as, as far as it being different, I know, you know, it's like a different program, different guys. Um, pretty much, I mean, Big Ten ball is Big Ten ball, so it's all the same stuff, same grind, just a different group of people, but I feel like I've got acclimated well and adjusted. What's your mindset coming in here as a third-year guy trying to make your mark here? Well, for me, you know, um, like every team meeting, Coach B tell us, like, this is something that's, that stuck with me since I got here. It's like what you do in the first and second quarter impacts what you're going to do in the fourth quarter during the season. So for me, I've been thinking of this as a keep stacking days, being positive, being the, test, being the best team that I can be and just making the most out of my opportunities because – you don't get the days back. And what I do today is going to affect me on game day. So, I compete with a couple guys who've been here, Virgis and Calvin. What, do, what are you hoping to bring to this this battle at Nose Garden? Um, what I'm hoping to bring to this ba battle is just helping them help me, you know, just um, elevating, the, elevating, the, uh, elevating the competition, holding them accountable, help, making sure they hold me accountable, and just help each other, you know. Seems like you're a guy who instantly, you know, I really mesh with that veteran type leadership <coughs> Well, being here, you know, like I'm quote unquote an older guy, but walking in the room, you know, we have like Bobo, Dion, uh, Johnny Keith, some of the older guys, CA, Verdes. So they're like, they're all veterans too and like known. So I feel like it's helped me in a way because I know what football is like, but they've been here and saw more football than me. So they've been helping me, but I've also felt like I've been able to hold them accountable in a way too. What's important about this nose guard position in this defense? Uh, what's important about this nose guard defense is um, how I compare. I feel like it's it's very much similar to O line. Like you got to do the dirty work, and it's gonna go unnoticed. But as soon as you don't do your job, it's gonna show up on film. So about as far as this defense, I know it's like just doing your job, holding the point of contact, and just helping helping the back end out. Um, white 23. Um, so it's actually a story behind this. Um, I have a nephew who um, passed away uh, last year, and um, he wore 23 in high school. And like coming in, like because I had eight back where I was at, and like I honored that as I honored that for my cousin. And um, with 23, I was like, you know, like could I get this? Because like my nephew meant everything to me. Like if I can get it, cool. If not, I'll wear whatever. Because the number is just a number. But I got this in honor of my nephew.